The BYU women's basketball team has won six consecutive games. They are perfect in the West Coast Conference. One of those keys to success is a healthy six foot seven Hampson. Let's bring in Lauren McLean, who went with the first family of blocks on an adventure in between the lines. <laughs> I did, and man, did I feel small. I don't often feel small, but I definitely did with that family. When I think tall BYU athlete, Hampson is the first name that comes to my head. Everyone in that family is above six foot seven. That's crazy. Except their youngest daughter, who's a sophomore in high school. She's six two. Oh, she's That's old. Oh, six she's two. tiny. That's it. She's, she's 15 tiny. and she's six two. Yeah, so she'll be six seven in a couple years. Don't she worry. probably. They actually think she's not going to be as tall. All, but oh, we'll okay. see, but we'll probably get to see that. How exciting is that? It's awesome. So that family's already etched their name in the BYU history books and women's volleyball, women's basketball. But when we take a deeper look, there's more to that family than just sports. So let's go Between the Lines. BYU Sports Nation presents Between the Lines. Family traditions, while they may seem insignificant, bind us together. Some families play games, some families play sports, but for the Hampson family, their tradition is blocks. This tradition started back in 1983 as the mother of the Hanson family, Teresa Spalding Hampson, began her career at BYU. I think the biggest things that I remember is just the friendships that I made and my teammates. As a 6'7 center, she led the nation in scoring during her senior season and is still BYU's all-time block leader. We also ran the ball. We scored 60, 80 points a game. Very fast-paced game. Shortly after Teresa's career at BYU, she started dating her now husband, David. Well, I invited him to our pickup games. He played with us a few times. Once. Let's be clear, once. <laughs> I was never invited back. I invited once to play pickup and was matched up against Teresa, and she just ate me alive on that court. My team was so mad. And, and that, I couldn't uh, figure out what he was really doing, but... I was courting, and I got her. <laughs> it worked. Whatever he was doing, it worked. Yeah. Teresa and David planted roots in Utah to begin their own family. How many kids do you have? And, and just take me through their names as well. We have five. Jennifer's the oldest, and then we have Alan, and then Timothy, and then Sarah, and then Heather. Two boys and three girls. Did you have in mind what could possibly happen athletically with your children? We didn't understand the size of the children. <laughs> they certainly turned out bigger than we would have thought, but athletically we had suspicions. The oldest Hampson daughter, Jennifer, followed in her mom's footsteps as she began at a young age pursuing a basketball career of her own. Teresa, what was it like for you trying to find a balance between coaching your kids and honing in your own competitive nature? With Jen, it was a struggle because I was new at everything. In high school, she realized that I kind of knew some things, and then she started to say, so I need a move or I need help with this or that. And I tell her, and then she'd pick it up. After high school, Jennifer continued on to play basketball and volleyball at BYU, ending her career with 21 double-doubles. With a stint in the WNBA and now playing volleyball in Germany, Jennifer's been able to have a significant impact beyond Provo. I'm more proud of her as a person than I am as an athlete. It's just the great person that she's turned out to be in the sports world. The Hampson BYU tradition didn't stop with Jennifer. Younger sister Sarah, who is a sophomore dual sport athlete coming back from a knee injury, is already making her own marks in the history books. The atmosphere, the teams, the coaches, I want to be somewhere competitive and where I could, where I would be playing with girls who had the same goals as me and the same principles and it just was the right place. I enjoy watching Sarah because she's so energetic <laughs> and fun, entertaining, she just is. You can tell immediately if something good or something bad, you can just yeah. see it in the excitement. She's just really a different kind of player. Sarah was named the WCC Defensive Player of the Year last season, led the nation in blocked shots per game, and holds BYU's freshman season blocks record, passing up her mom and sister. Her ability to block, I, I don't, I was never like that, never capable. He's skeptical of that the comment, BYU, but. Says the BYU shot block <laughs> yeah, record like, holder, yes. <laughs> I know, I know, but 
Yeah, she has a little bit more style. <laughs> I just you feel like she looks better doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Complimented by the shop block record. <laughs> I know. The Hampson family is definitely unique between their height, their talent, and their character. With this rare combination, Hampson has become a household name for Cougar fans. With Sarah just in her sophomore season and another daughter waiting in the wings, one thing is for certain, they aren't done yet. Such an awesome family, and I'm not biased at all that they're from Pleasant Grove. Yeah, uh, uh, we no need to way, point out that you farm, also went to Pleasant Grove. No way, Grove. shape, or form has to do this. It'd be like me doing a Ronnie Jones we Perry did. thing, you know? <laughs> at Copper Hills High School in their at gym. Copper, yeah. Okay, but for real, this, this family this family is incredible. So next week on Between the Lines, we're doing an undercover athlete with Gabby Garcia Fernandez nice. from the men's volleyball team. Follow us on Twitter at BYU underscore BTL. I think Jennifer Hampson's the greatest female athlete in the history of BYU because she was an All-American in Dual sports. sport All-American. There have been some really good athletes. I think she's the best ever. Yeah, Shauna Roebuck. Sweet um, 16 in hoops. National title game in volleyball. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That's and hard if, you're to just, if you're just talking women's basketball, though, her mom. Her mom yeah, uh, is I, one of the greatest to come through BYU. Yes, Jen wasn't the greatest women's basketball player, but her combination of being All-American and how far she went yeah, with those that's, teams that's is, absolutely to me, the number one. In, and, and Sarah's just a sophomore. Right. So and, and what Sarah, she's do. Sarah tore a meniscus in August before the season for this team that went to the Final Four. Yeah. So if she was on that team, could they have Who got knows? over the hump? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Heather Olmstead has plenty of weapons returning. Awesome. She does. Yeah. Including another Hampson. Very good. Great stuff. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah, uh, story.